boys and girls, we're going to continue to learn about collective nouns. Remember, our standard says that we can use collective nouns, groups of per people, places, and things, when writing and speaking. Alright, so let's go over some collective nouns again. Remember, there are so many, it's hard to remember them all but we're going to try to remember as many as possible. So what is a collective noun? How cool is that? All right, a collective noun is a word for a collection or a group of people, animals, or things. So let's play, what do you call a group of this? We should have a question mark at the end. Uh-oh. Have to get that fixed. Alright, what do you call a group of bees? Do you remember? A blank of bees. We call it a swarm, a swarm of bees. Remember, you can think about it like they swarm all around you. So a group of bees is called a swarm of bees. Swarm is the collective noun. It tells you the name of the group. What do you call a group of of players. A blank of players. What's the collective noun? A team. Team is the collective noun. What do you call a group of monkeys? A blank of monkeys. A troop. Troop is the collective noun. It names the group. What do you call a group of singers? A blank of singers. A choir you have in church, a choir of singers. Choir is your collective noun. What do you call a group of related people? A blank. This is a family. Family is a collective noun. What do you call a group of musicians? A blank of musicians. Band. Band is a collective noun. What do you call a group of ships? A blank of ships. It's called a fleet. Fleet is a collective noun. What do you call a group of soldiers? And blank of soldiers? Army. Army is your collective noun. What do you call a group of sailors? A blank of sailors. Crew. Crew is the collective noun. What do you call a group of natives? A blank of natives. Tribe. 
tribe is your collective now. What you call a group of wolves? A pack of wolves. Pack is your collective now. What you call a group of flowers? A bouquet of flowers. Remember, we said some people say a bunch of flowers, or you can call it a bouquet of flowers. Either one will work. A bunch or a bouquet. Bouquet is a collective noun. What you call a group of dolphins? A blank of dolphins? is a pod. Pod is the collective noun. What do you call a group of puppies? A litter of puppies. Do you remember what else a litter is? Kittens. Puppies and kittens are both a litter. Litter is the collective noun. What do you call a group of stairs? A flight of stairs. Like you run up the flight of stairs, flight. Flight is your collective noun. What do you call a group of students? A blank of students? A class of students. Class is your collective noun. What do you call a group of cards? A blank of cards? A deck of cards. Deck is your collective noun. What do you call a group of crows? A murder of crows. Murder can be a collective noun. Not every time you use that word, but if you use it talking about a group of crows, it is a noun. What do you call a group of cows? It was in our book yesterday. A herd of cows. Herd is your collective noun. What do you call a group of people? A blank of people? A crowd of people. Crowd is the collective noun. What do you call a group of people watching a show? And blank. I got people up here putting on the show. They are an audience. An audience. Audience is the collective noun. What do you call a group of fish? A school of fish. School can be a collective noun. What do you call a group of grapes? A bunch of grapes. Bunch is a collective noun. What do you call a group of quails? A covey of quails. Covey is a collective noun. What do you call a group of ants? A colony of ants. Colony is a collective noun. What do you call a group of sheep? This was also in your book yesterday. A flock of sheep. 
flock is your collective noun. What do you call a group of butterflies? A flutter of butterflies. That's easy to remember because butterflies flutter around. Flutter can be a collective noun when used to tell about a group of butterflies. What do you call a group of camels? A caravan of camels. Caravan is a collective noun. What do you call a group of owls? A parliament of owls. Parliament is a collective noun. What do you call a group of lions? A pride of lions. Pride can be a collective noun. All right, now we're going to pick up with this part tomorrow because we've had a lot to take in with all these pages of collective nouns. Let's look at the work you did yesterday. Okay, so yesterday you had these pages. You had to decide if the collective noun was correct for the noun that was listed. Alright, so we have crew of frogs. Is crew the correct collective noun? No. No. It is not. All right, the next one. Flight of birds. Is flight the correct word? No, it is not. All right, the next one set of clubs. Right, does your dad have a set of golf clubs? All right, set is the correct word, so you should have had a check mark here. All right, batch of cakes. Now this one, I was not for sure. I knew you could have a batch of cookies. All right, so Miss Byers looked this one up. Because I was like, I'm not for sure about that one myself. Um, batch, I would say batch would be fine, but there is not actually a collective noun for cakes. So if you put either one, I would probably be okay with it. But um, there's not actually a collective noun that goes with that one. I would not put that on a test. Um, but if you put it's okay to have a batch of cakes, I would be fine with that one. All right, plague of locusts. All right, locusts are just like grasshoppers. You have an army. So this one should be an X. Army of locusts. All right, trees. Herd of trees. All right, we have a forest of trees. Or you can have an orchard of fruit trees. So this one is an X. And the next one, batch of cows. All right, X. Choir of singers. Yes. All right, gang of wood. No. Army of soldiers. Yes, we have an army of soldiers. Now let me click on my computer. All right, the next one. Gaggle of cats. No, we have a gaggle of geese and a litter of cats or kittens. 
So that one's wrong. All right, the next one, litter of cubs. No. Flock of turkeys. Yes. All right, bunch of bees. No, what is it? It's a swarm. School of fish. Yes. Bell of shoes. No. Fleet of ships. Yes. Forest of trees. Yes. Stack of papers. Yes. Flock of kids. No. Army of bread. No, that's a loaf of bread. All right, number three, page three. Herd of cows. Yes. Staff of sticks. It's fire to smell for sure about staff of sticks. Let me look that one up right quick. Crowd of books. No. School of fish. Yes. Brood of hens. All right, we talked about the chickens, but we didn't talk about the hens. Brood of hens is yes. Litter of ants. No, colony of ants. Pride of lions. Yes. Batch of tools. No. Gaggle of geese. Yes. Bell of hay. Yes. Forest of stars. No. All right, so let me look up the correct one for that one. Collective noun for sticks is staff. A staff of, no, is not staff of sticks. The collective noun is a bundle of sticks. So this one is wrong. It should be bundle of sticks. So that one is not right. All right, so Ms. Fires will definitely not use that one either. It'll only be the ones we've been doing on the lesson anyway, but that one is not right either. All right. Now, and there it is for today. All right, so today, for today's work, it says, read the collective noun in the box, drag and drop the picture that best represents the collective noun. So now that we know the collective noun bundle goes with sticks, the fire is going to move that one to that spot. All right, so this first one we have Flight 
15 bouquet, staff, litter, pride, pod, range, collection, smack. All right, so you'll fill in the ones you know first, and then the ones you don't know, you'll leave for last. On the next page, We have Troop, Gaggle, Constellation, we know, Cluster, Mob, Set, Colony, Flock, Stack, Pair, Loaf. And on the last one, we've got Choir, Army, Barrel, Fleet, Herd, Class, Clump, Batch, Bunch, Forest, and Parliament. And if it is one that we have not learned yet, I will go on ahead and drag those into the spots. And that way you can learn those as well. That way you won't have to be guessing, okay? Ms. Fires, we'll go ahead and look those up and make sure we learn those as we go. All right, we'll keep learning these collective nouns.